Now I want to kind of walk in the middle of uh, something I'm working on so you can kind of see a lot of the different power we have with, with Carlson. Now these are some points that I brought in and these are storm drain uh, points. And first of all I can see that just everything is just way way too low. What I want to do is just make these, these point attributes smaller. So I'm just going to go and resize them here. And now I think now, if you look down at the bottom here, I brought up the command, and it's got a scale. So I'm going to hit Enter to accept that. And I think I can make about 30% of their current size and still be able to see what I'm doing. And if you look at the bottom, it says both, and I want to change both. And I say I want to pick from the screen, but just type All, and that'll pick all the points on the screen. And then it will go through and reduce the size of those point attributes. So there we go. So now, now we were a bit more manageable, and we can see what's what's going on and, and how it's working. Now, one of the things is um, Carlson will put attributes on a single layer, and that's usually okay unless you want to start splitting stuff up. When you do an export, you're exporting the point with its attributes. But just for screen cleanliness, if I go here um, to take and and freeze this layer, you'll see that it's the point elevation is a single layer for all these point elevations. I'll do a control Z to undo that and you'll see the elevations appear uh, again. So you can put elevations and descriptors and point numbers and the blocks that that make the points on different layers. But here what I've done is I've just do it where the point numbers and everything are on one layer and then the points themselves reside on different layers. So this is a flow line layer. I just shut off the flow line and I didn't mess with anything else. So it, it can get kind of messy, but it can also get messy when you start having too many layers in here. Um, here's point numbers that we can turn on. If I shut this command off first, um, there's point layers if we can turn on. Um, and there's all my point numbers again, but that's all the point numbers for the entire uh, group of points, all the coordinate files. So just be aware that sometimes you'll have to uh, kind of circle back and, and you know maybe put some stuff on different layers, but it gets kind of messy. Um, and numbers and elevations don't bother me because I'll turn them on to verify and then shut it off to stop. Now, another thing I want to talk about here is um, uh, is point groups. And you'll see that I have these point groups for all these different points. And, and I'll show you what happens on import. But let's say I've got this one here. I didn't put the name of this job here. So I'm going to go edit this and just kind of talk about a few things. So um, I'll put the name in here. Oops, if I can spell. And what I have now is kind of everything uh, organized better. But uh, I can edit this group by all these different things. If, if I have a line of points that I want to pick on the DWG, I can go inside and outside selection areas. I can pick elevation ranges. And then I can do exclusion. So even in that in inclusion set, I can knock some things out that I don't want. It's a real big deal. So that's. Uh, that's a real advantage uh, to, to being able to, uh, to mess with these and, and kind of get them the way you want. Um, these points are, are shown here, the storm drain structure. So what I want to do is uh, come in and show you a basic point import uh, that I do. And again, it's, it's, it, it makes sense once you do it, but it's, it's, it seems a little bit roundabout. So the first thing I've got to do is open that points file. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in those storm drain rims. Okay. So here's phase two. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, sanitary rims. Um, I'm going to bring in the sanitary rim, and I'm going to call it SS rims. I'm going to say open. And first thing I want to do is list the points, and um, I'll say okay, and you'll see that these have been assigned. Um, as sanitary sewer, uh, the the callouts at least as far as plan view is concerned. So we're okay here, and we can import that. Now, if I either wanted to change that description, uh, now it would do a blanket change. So you have to be careful. You can go in and do these individually because there's not too many. But if there's a change. Um, what you can do is just change this description for all these points. And I can replace um, uh, 
the existing or I can add as a prefix something that I want on there that has it make more sense to that import and all of a sudden I can improve the quality of, of the data that I brought in or most importantly like I talked about in the article just kind of improve some things that were done in the field that might not have been labeled correctly um, really powerful stuff easy to use and it has a lot of depth as always thanks for watching appreciate it email me with questions I'll be glad to help